Welcome back to the Morning Night Show here on Plum TV. I'm John Cleese, and I'm now sitting down with Plum regular Patrick Ahern, who's going to talk to us about some projects he's working down in Katama and in Edgartown, exactly. which is Edgartown. Katama it is. is Edgartown. It is. Right. It is. And sometimes is. you think of the town of Edgartown, you don't realize it actually has some it's, surrounding It's bigger areas. than you realize. That's right. Yeah. All right, so what are, what are the latest projects? And I'm sure they are beautiful if you are involved. Well, uh, we want to talk about the, uh, the Boathouse and the Field Club, which is really an adjunct, which is just about done. Uh, the Boathouse is the site of the old Navigator restaurant. And uh, over the past uh, year, we took the building down in September, and we've created a new 10,000 square foot uh, nautical theme building that'll have a public restaurant on the first floor called Atlantic, which should be opening in about a week and a half. That's exciting. And furniture's coming in on Thursday. And then a uh, private club upstairs, uh, which will have dining and bar facilities, as well as uh, we've, we've uh, rebuilt the dock area, so we actually have public access around the building now. And we also have uh, the use of boats for club members, which is kind of exciting. Now, is that a requirement now if you're building down the waterfront to sort of open up access to the water? Well, it's, 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 it's really in the town plan, but uh, it was an important part of, huh. of what we wanted to do for the public good at the same time enhance the waterfront experience in Edgartown. So, for me, it's really been an exciting time to see the transformation of the building. I think uh, the boathouse should also be a catalyst to continue to reinforce the activity downtown and, and help... Uh, the merchants do well, and it's a nice draw to the community. It looks great. Everybody loves Egertown. I mean, it's so jam-packed down there. It's just, it's really beautiful. I mean, as other towns, I think some have fallen behind. I feel like Egertown has really stepped up and kept up with the pace. Now, the boathouse, though, is just part of also the club, the field yes. club, right? Yes. Out on Katama in the plains. Right. That's about 1.3 miles away from the, the boathouse. It's on the bike path, on the road to South Beach, and it's a... Uh, a large piece of land it used to be known as Grant's Pit at one time and uh, the whole site's been transformed into the field club which has got uh, you know eight tennis courts championship court a tennis clubhouse uh, a major fitness facility uh, that has a spa uh, on the lower level big exercise area squash court in one structure and then there's the clubhouse itself which is a multifunction club facility uh, and also, both of these buildings overlook three swimming pools, wow. uh, kitty spray pool, uh, What's major a kitty spray pool? Well, it's where the spray comes up oh, in the air, you know, oh, the kids okay. run in and out. Gotcha. It's really not a gotcha. pool, it's kind right. of low water, but something that's fun for the kids. It's going to be the only fountain on Martha's Vineyard. <laughs> Basically, yeah. And uh, a lap pool, and then a large pool with a beach entrance, you know, for us old guys to walk in slowly. A ramp? Not a ramp, but steps, but you can actually step. sit yeah. down in and so on. And they're on. all outside, no inside pool, just a uh, real, this is really for summer activities out there. Outside, right? but yeah. then the spa has, uh, for men's and women separately, they have cold plunge and hot plunge pools, which are outside oh, nice. in a little private courtyard area. And then, in addition to that, um, the, uh, the club acquired the residential lots around the club, which were originally not part of the, the deal. And so we've uh, now designed the first two houses to be built uh, in the club area. There'll be 25 houses in total around the, the facility. And uh, I'm pretty excited about that, where we've now done the, the public buildings. Now we have a chance to do the residential buildings and, and theme the, the whole atmosphere yeah. in a way that I think is uh, very interesting, exciting, and... Uh, the landscaping's unbelievable that's going in around those buildings. It's yeah. really instant when you drive down the it road. Is. All of a sudden it was like, it wow, is. where did that come from? And you from? know, some of, the, some of the ideas were to say, well, let's, let's say if you were in Charlottesville, Virginia, and the white fences coming in, and it kind of draws you into the site, and the whole circulation around the site, and the landscaping is really lush, yeah. and brick walkways, and uh, crushed shell parking areas surrounded by hedges and privets so the cars are kind of hidden away. Now when you buy into the development, if you buy a lot and have the house built, is that part of the association? They take care of all of that or you still have to take care of your own lot or does the club also provide that service? No, you, you would own your lot fee simple and then you would be responsible for it but there are guidelines about you know designs of the houses, designs of landscaping so they want to have a cohesive look. Uh. Um, and are there any lots most of the lots have sold. There's still lots available. No, there's still lots available. A lot of club members have uh, have purchased lots in advance, knowing that they might want them either for themselves or their extended families. And 
and ah. things like that. So a lot of club members uh, have already stepped up and, and secured deposits on, on lots. So. And we really have nothing like this on the vineyard. No. Built around that. I mean, in fact, just adding those three pools, you've you know you quadrupled this number of pools that are on the island. In terms, right. I mean, right. Or at least the larger pools that can that can take the public or the private membership. Right. And and right. the other thing that's really exciting about the the field club is that you know there's a lot of public uh, amenities and programs for the communities. There's a lot of uh, lectures and uh, as part of the approvals. Uh, the club is going to run swimming lessons mm -hmm. for you know island kids, and so there's a lot of uh, public good that was associated with the development and the approvals, which also I feel really uh, uh, proud of and to be part of that. So well, that we're all for nice. more pools on the island, no doubt about well, that. We know it's that. To swim. I know yeah. we need more of them. Now, why don't you talk about the architecture, though, also of the homes that you're designing in the lots? Okay. Well, I brought a few sketches, just a preview of, of what we're doing. Um, I can actually hold them up. Sure. I'm going to talk about them. Sure. This is uh, one of the one of the first houses, uh, clearly shingle style, and um, it's about a 26 foot height. Uh, although the zoning is 32, we've tried to keep the buildings relatively low mm. to the ground plane. It's about a 3,200 square foot house with a carriage house, and um, it, it picks off some of the architecture of the the public buildings that we've kind of played this shingle style, grand shingle style idea. And um, and then there's another one that we also, uh, which is slightly larger, uh, as a, as a potential for a somewhat larger house. Also, you know, about 35, 3,600 square feet, and then they're both reminiscent of the classic architecture that you'd find in the island vernacular. Mm -hmm. So, these so are if the you love the Ahern style, you won't be disappointed. Yes, from yes, early. yes. You do have a distinct style. It's, it's beautiful. It's great. Well, thank you. Appreciate it's gorgeous. that. In fact, the one I was just looking at the one that you over did here. Over here. Yeah. It's really, you know, when it's first going up, you look at these things. Actually, I think when the lots are cleared. They look so like, what's going up? But it's amazing. Right. It looks like it totally fits in. It's like it's been there forever now. Yeah. It's beautiful. Did a good job. Thank you. Now, do you, um, now obviously if they buy the lots, bringing you in as the designer is a separate thing or are you contract to design all the houses? No, it, it would be thing? separate, but. Uh, How are you going to let that happen? Oh, I don't know. We're going to work <laughs> on that. And uh, so that's kind of just it's an overview of where we are. Uh, now, I, when do you expect that, when does the club open? When are you expecting everything to be, the main public buildings to be open? I would say within two to three weeks. So we're very, very close. So the restaurant opens in a week or so, and then the, the, the clubhouse is going to open over in Katama. Yes. And then your houses, you've got the first two drawings, so it's all coming together. Yeah. Looks great. Well, it's amazing, too. When you, Now, when you said it was a pit, was it actually a, a pit pit? Because it's so flat all around there. Well, there, we, there was a lot of fill that had to be brought yeah. in, and, and it used to be a... Uh, I think it was a, a granite pit of some type. It was before my time. Before, <laughs> you weren't around in the 1800s? Uh, no. no. Your, I thought your website said that. No. Well, it looks gorgeous. And again, drive down there. It's beautiful, right? People yeah, can, I mean, people I can drive they, by. Can they drive in there? Absolutely. And okay. Absolutely. It's, and you can't miss it because all of a sudden, boom, landscaping, right? right. It's beautiful. All right, Patrick. Thank, thank you. you. Good nice to see you again. Show. All right, stay tuned. Much more to come here on the Morning and Night Show. And Plum will be right back. It looks, it looks fantastic.